What's up YouTube, Redbeard's Garage, and we're finally, I'm about to show you a project I've been wanting to start for a while. You re you are you re Yeah, you're ready. Bam, we finally got the go-kart in here. Okay, so, what I gotta do is get the, a couple things off, like the old sprocket mount off of the axle, because I have bought an aluminum, it's a little bit darker on this side of the garage, because I've never, hung any lights on this side we'll be getting to that real soon though but i bought a two-piece aluminum sprocket and i gotta put this sprocket mount onto uh, the axle so this is what we're working with right now that piece right there uh, so i gotta pull it off i'm thinking about sliding it off this whole side since i got everything else off and uh, then i gotta mount my caliper or mount the axle and mount the caliper and get get it all set up you know with that and what i was actually able to use for the throttle cable was this cable right here um sorry it's bouncing around but uh that's my cruise control cable off the 1g dsm build and it's going to stick out just a hair back past the um the go-kart but i'm going to make a bracket so it mounts right here and then drill holes in that so it worked out perfect i had to I had to drill that out just a hair and then I have one of these kind of put your own ends on one because I bought a choke like for a lawnmower lawn mower and I'm gonna mount that later uh, when we put the electric start a lot of people don't know you can get electric start for these motors for I think around a hundred bucks and then you gotta buy a battery so you're looking at about 150 bucks but that would be awesome if this thing had a electric start on it it would make it so much nicer so i'm definitely doing that right now we're just getting it running i'm putting a clutch on it i'm not going to do a torque converter right now because she's not ready for a torque converter once i see she handles this 100 percent the next thing that'll be upgraded is a torque converter and then after that um i'll probably do the electric start and i'm going to put that choke uh make a little dashboard for it Put her a little rpm gauge and a mile per hour gauge and then she'll have her key start so it'll look more make her feel more like she's driving a car instead of a go-kart and then i'll put the torque converter and then the after the torque converter the next performance part once i see she's used to it you know and handles it 100 percent fine i'm going to do the exhaust and jet it once the exhaust and jet's done i'm going to do the valves and the uh, governor removal but like i said all in good timing because i want her to be 100 percent used to this um, very soon I'm going to put up the video uh, kind of a walk around and talk about the 1G DSM uh, actually I'm about to sell it and my Altima I'm going to get rid of both of them because uh, I'm about to build a 40 by 50 garage I want a huge legit garage to stop messing in this this is like 20 uh, probably about 20 by 20 I would say something around that and uh, there's just no room to work anymore. I can't fit a car in here. I need these workbenches. I, I'm not building these workbenches for no reason. And uh, I don't think I've showed y'all, but just been th built this workbench on this side of the garage. So let me step back and I'll give y'all a better view of it. But yeah, I just built that. I think it's about 11 foot long, 100% uh, level. It's awesome. I haven't coated the top with anything yet. I'm gonna go get some polyurethane this weekend, sand it lightly, put it on and put about two to three coats. Also built me some really nice saw horses. I really, I'm so happy I got saw horses now. And I picked up a 10 inch Craftsman professional uh, job site saw, table saw that collapses down. It's really, it's a, it's a Craftsman, but it's a professional series. So it's more of the DeWalt class. Um, and then after that, I built this wood cart for doing wood and mechanics, I guess. Uh, holds all my saws and whatnot. I still got some more stuff to put on it. And uh, then I put me a little clamp holder on the side. That's for spare wood down there because it really isn't tall enough for anything else. Uh, and it does roll around, by the way. Uh, put my level and measuring tape and then my other two levels. And then I got my pencil, pencils and a pencil sharpener. And actually that was a flashlight pouch and I cut the little flap off and screwed it on there. It worked perfect. But uh, super happy to have this table. I've been wanting something like this forever and they're kind of expensive buying a metal table like this. So I was like, what the heck, I'll just make one. And I think I'm later gonna put a chest, a toolbox chest, kind of like, like that right there. Probably that one to get it off the workbench. Uh, put it down there. You won't be able to open the top, 
but I mean, I, I would rather have a few drawers and not have the top and have drawers on the cart, you know, for all my woodworking tools and whatnot. So yeah, starting to come along pretty nice. This little box, I'm gonna take the casters off of it. I put casters off uh, one of my old toolboxes. Uh, toolboxes, if you can see that Evolve one right there, that Evolve toolbox right there used to have casters on it and the black one right beside of it used to have casters, but my concrete is not level. This garage was built to be a carport. So yeah, when they built this garage, it was just, when I bought this house, it was just a carport. And I told the guy I wouldn't buy the house unless he paid to have it framed in. Well, he brought all the wood and it set for like a week or two and I knew it was gonna take the guy forever. So I said, you know what? I, I need to learn this stuff. I never framed up anything before, but I knew how to do it. I mean, it's, I'm, and don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I can figure stuff out really easy. It's just, it comes natural to me engineering i guess you would call it but i can figure out how stuff works and how to make it work better usually and like i said i'm not tooting my own horn so don't get me wrong uh but yeah i'm just uh with the garage i'm out of uh out of space in here and i like i said i framed this up and then we did the ceilings and walls because it was just like two by four frames uh inside for a long time and we insulated it last winter this thing leaks heat like a biatch all the way around it and just being this thin metal it holds no heat in it so this winter um here soon i'm going to insulate these doors so i can actually hold heat and i'm going to get me a a little bit better heating source i have one of them blower propane type heaters right now um but it's just so freaking loud you, you can barely talk over the thing i mean it warms it up quick so i'm probably going to use that to get it to where i want it or let it run for 30 minutes an hour out here before I come out in the winter time and then uh, have something that'll keep the heat up once that's got it up to a certain temperature. So um, yeah, so next on this go-kart, I gotta get that that axle done. Gotta get the sprocket mount on there and get the axle mounted. So that's gonna go up next um, and I'll film some more. I'm done with it for the night. I've messed with it a little bit. I'm gonna have to make, most likely make a new engine plate or kind of mess with the hose a little bit. They've welded a plate over the factory plate that was on this. And everything they did was a crappy job, by the way. But my daughter's gonna be ecstatic. She does not know I'm working on it. It was a father-daughter pro father project. With this stuff, there's nothing she can, and I hate this, but there's nothing she can really help me do because everything's like, you gotta have a little bit of strength to pull these you know, bearings and stuff off this axle. And she just, there's nothing she can really do. So what I'm gonna do is when I put the uh, starter kit on it, I'm gonna run headlights and taillights on it. And I'm gonna teach her how to wire things and uh, how to run wires neat, stuff like that. Cause that's a big thing I do is wire stuff all the time, navigations and whatnot. You've heard me talk about it on past videos, but yeah. So give me a thumbs up if you're happy I'm finally on this freaking go-kart build. Make sure to start looking at my Facebook page, Red Beer's Garage on Facebook, uh, Sweetwater, Tennessee. I don't think there's another one, but just in case it's in Sweetwater, Tennessee. Um, stay posted. I'm going to be putting up a lot of videos real soon. I know you've heard that like a broken record a hundred times, but guys, I'm really going to start putting some effort into this. Uh, I'm about to build that massive garage, so i got awesome place to film some awesome projects. It's going to be complete with a lift, uh, air compressor, and everything in good time, hopefully this year. But um, selling the Altima SER and the 1G DSM and hate to see them go, but I'm tired of front wheel drive. I've always griped about any car I've had wasn't exactly what I wanted. It was like front wheel drive or is a single overhead cam motor or this or that, you know, it was like I never just got what I wanted. When I bought the Altima, I went to get that Altima. That's what I wanted. I wanted a four door sedan. I wanted it six speed. I wanted to have a lot of power. And that's what I got. And I did stuff to it now, but I'm never satisfied with front wheel drive. I, I just do not like it. I know there's people that's diehard front wheel drives and more power to you. I'm not knocking on them for sure. But there's nothing like a back wheel drive or all wheel drive car. So I think, um, the next project will be a little bit down the road. I'm not worried about cars right now because I've dumped so much money in the cars in the past. I'm tired of it for a while. I guess I'm I'm growing up a little bit. Uh, so there'll be some projects. My Ford F-150, there'll be a lot of stuff uh, I'm gonna do to it and I'm gonna film everything. And there's an F-100. Um, I'm gonna show you some things I've been doing on it, restoring it for a guy. 
so yeah stay tuned guys please like please uh share it and um make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned there's a lot of projects i'll be back on this tomorrow um this will be uploaded on thursday so be looking for another video friday or saturday depends on how much i get to do tomorrow and uh yeah guys thanks for hanging in there i know this is more like kind of an update video and i'm tired of them i want to want y'all to see me in action working on something uh so i'm gonna get the garage 100 percent cleaned up tomorrow and do some more filming and throw up another video so hang in there guys I appreciate all your time um, watching my videos and commenting and whatnot, uh, but there'll be more to come from Red Beard's Garage. I'm out.